Hello, my name is Alessio Bernardelli and uh, I want to show you something I've done with Prezi. And in particular, one of the mistakes I really wanted to try and avoid when I first started using Prezi. So, some teachers believe that just because they now have fancy transitions in Prezi, they will never bore their learners again. So they can just continue to write long paragraphs full of information and fill the whole screen as much as they like because after all they can always get to the next bit by spinning zooming flying wow this is the greatest presentational tool ever look at what i can do but in fairness prezi is a lot safer than powerpoint in fact you will have achieved uh, dizziness vomit and and consciousness even before you had a chance to kill your learners by boredom so <laughs> this uh, presentation is a little bit of a joke uh, just to show something uh, that is quite true about Presido uh, many people have used it uh, and made the same mistakes that we used to make when we uh, would uh, kill our learners by PowerPoints and um, I believe Prez is a great tool and uh, it can be used very creatively for example I used it once um, to create a mind map uh, because uh, the transitions that I could create would uh, navigate through the whole mind map giving the direction of uh, where what I wanted to um, convey in terms of a message uh, to my learners but um, what I think uh, Prezi could be really useful for is uh, collaborative learning in fact if you click on share here you'll be, be present you'll be presented with uh, a URL that uh, if you copy and then send it to the learners you want to work on the same um, Prezi uh, then they will be able to all collaborative work collaboratively work simultaneously on the same Prezi and create some great uh, uh, work together so have fun working with Prezi and uh, share some of the great uh, work that your learners do with it. Thank you for listening.